So finally, here's what Kafka looks like in a typical enterprise. And it may look slightly different for your enterprise, but usually this is a pretty good and pretty common architecture here. So we have on the left-hand side data producers, and this could be anything, could be apps, websites, financial systems, email, customer data, databases, name it. And they all push their data in real time to Kafka. From there, you really have two pipelines of data. You have the real-time pipeline, and you have the batch pipeline. So first, for the real-time pipeline, usually components such as Spark or Storm or Flink, they will read the data from Kafka in real time and perform analytics, dashboarding, alerts, or inform apps and consumers. Um, possibilities are endless, but it's real time. And then there will be a second pipeline, the batch pipeline, in which all the data from Kafka will be pushed to a data lake. Would it be Hadoop or Amazon S3 or even an RDBMS technology? And then out of it, the data science team will do some analytics. There will be some reporting being done, maybe audits, or maybe you just want to do backup and long-term storage. So that's a typical enterprise architecture. And as you can see, there's a lot to see here. This course really, really focuses about Kafka and how to use it.